Hello there. It's nice to see you once again. And I'm here to do another project of Art in the Night. I just can't resist. Because this week I was inspired by a book that I saw. It's called Flashlight by Lizzie Boyd. And in that book, the artist does such a wonderful job using white line on a dark background to show us texture. And also, she has a flash of white light for emphasis. So this book is the story of a little boy who has been camping and he goes out for a walk in the night. And that's what you're going to use, do. You're going to use your imagination to go out for a walk and show us what you'll see. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So here's what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need um, the piece of black paper, a smaller piece of white paper, a planning pencil is helpful. You'll definitely need a white pencil, a pair of scissors, your glue stick, and your colored pencils. I also like to have a smaller fine point pen if you have one. Even a little ballpoint pen will work. And today, because I'm going to be using my white pencil a lot, I have a little sharpener in a cup so that I can resharpen as I go along. And I also find an eraser helpful. So, to make this picture, we're going to start with our black piece of paper. And I have also made a handout for you. It shows the woodland creatures the little boy would see in the night. And it shows you a simple step-by-step -step way of drawing a little boy with his flashlight. You can follow these steps and do it this way, or you can make it your own way. The artist um, made the little boy out of very simple shapes, and I like that idea. So I think I will do the same thing. And I'll put that aside so I can kind of peek at it to get started. So I'm going to start with circle for the head. And we know heads are more oval shaped, but this artist went with simple geometric shapes, so I think I will too. I'm going to go more with a circle. And there's his hairline. I'm going to do the eyes here. And I'm going to fill in the eyes, the white part of the eyes, so they'll show up, a little nose, and a smile. And I'm going to go back with black to put the pupil for the eyes. I'm using my black Sharpie, so it'll show up. Next, I need the body. And I am going to start by showing the arm from the side. That is the way that just seems to work really well. It's almost like an L, a thick L. You see that? Then I can put his hand, kind of a mitten-shaped hand, at the end. The next step, I think I'll just add that flashlight while I'm there. Put together some rectangles, and you have a flashlight. Now, line, hop over line, there's his shirt, and two little rectangles for his pants. And then I'm going to put some boots on him. Just continue my line down, make a simple boot shape, because he's going for a walk, and it might be damp out, so he's got his big boots on. Okay. I think I'll add some little ears as well. So, once you have that, you have the beginning of your picture. Now I'm going to show you the trick for adding the flash up from the flashlight. I'm going to take my piece of white paper here, and this is a case where my planning pencil is handy. I'm going to put it right up next to my flashlight, like that, and I am going to show how the light shines out from his flashlight. It's a diagonal line like that, and I think it'll make it go about like that. I'm going to cut that out with my scissors, just right on my line. I'm going to make this part of it curved. And back around like that. Now let's try it and see how it works. Oop, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to change this line a little bit. I'm going to make it tilt this way. Perfect. So I like how that looks. There he is walking. There's his flashlight. So I'm going to glue my flash of light down so I don't have to worry about it sliding around. Glue that down. 
rub it down with your clean fist. And now the fun begins. What are you gonna show in your picture? Um, there's some suggestions in this handout. You can use them or you don't have to. Notice the trees. They're made out of lines, but the artist has used different kinds of lines to create texture on the bark. Same thing with the animals. I see fur texture and in the plants and rocks as well. So I'm gonna start with a tree. I'll start right over here. Straight up and down, branches off of branches. Maybe another one going this way, another branching off here. I'm gonna now add some texture by just repeating some lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you, don't forget the background. Is it grass? Is there a rock over here? I'm getting my ideas down. Maybe I'll put a great big tree up close. It's going to do something interesting right here. And stay tuned. I'm going to fast forward and I'll see you back here. Okay, so I have taken my time to put in detail and it's really fun to maybe even take a break and come back to it. Do little things like I have a little mouse here, there's a deer peeking out from behind the tree, I might find a place to put a little raccoon, notice the firefly in the night. Now, what are we going to show in the light of the little boy's flashlight? I am going to take my pencil and lightly sketch in an owl. And remember the shapes for an owl. Here's the branch, a B, a rainbow curve, a rainbow curve. I'll show you. I'll start with my V. I'm going to do a curve around and a curve around. Bring that around. Nice big owly eyes. And then I'm going to make it a horned owl that goes up like that. Now the body. And I think he's gotten startled, so he's going to have his wings up, ready to fly away. All right, and there's his tree branch with a hop-over trick. Now I have to make that branch connect right to that white line there, so it looks like a continuation of the picture. That's the fun part. And look at this tree here. I need to finish where the tree is in the light. Once you're done with that, you can Get out your nice colored pencils and do some of the detail. Color it in because that, the light shows the colors. And I'm going to take my brown, color that in. I think it needs some texture lines, so I'm going to go back with my black and put some texture lines in a minute. I'll take my black pen and add some texture lines. In fact, I need some texture lines over here on my tree as well. So I will do that with white where it'll show up. You get the idea. So take your time, color it in, maybe using some blended colors, some reds with your browns or maybe some oranges. Or maybe you want to use wild and crazy colors. It's really up to you. Have fun. Use your imagination. And I can't wait to see your work.